Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Let's Play 21, Half-Life. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. This is actually one of my favorite first-person shooters games of all time. Give me a sec. I'm gonna I'm just going to turn down the audio from uh, just the sound effects volume a bit. Just for the sake of my ears and your ears. I right now have, I have no mouse because I have to currently uh, use the screen in order to see where I'm clicking, but hey, this episode is going to be handling the tutorial of the of the game, or training room, just to introduce you to the world, and basically being Gordon's first day at work. Oh. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your right. holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and mm -hmm. I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Um, uh, okay. What's in... Hey, let me out. Let me out! No. What I need to do is... This feels like an SCP room right now. I've been locked in a containment room. Let's see what the giant uh, file. Basically, first up first, grab yourself the suit. I'll be going more into the suit when we actually start the game. But, hey, right, next episode? But, yeah. We basically want to get the suit. Which has many features that, uh, am I allowed to be let out? Okay, there. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. No, not at all. Oh. I feel pr I feel pretty fine with m with walking. Uh the first move we will practice in the hazard course right. is basic jumping. So jumping skills. I have that. This set of pipes using only Ow. run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. Right. That is uh that character I forgot to mention is Gina. Uh she is one of the main characters of Half-Life Decay, a PS1 a PS2 exclusive multiplayer uh add-on for Half-Life. Uh, the other one is G uh, I think her name full name is Gina Cross. Also, so. thank you, Kleiner. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your right. suit into stealth mode, minimizing Crouch. movement noise. If crouching you can do with control, uh, base is jump, uh, the velocity. Hello, Dr. Boomer. Hello, Gordon. Uh, hello, Doc. And... Now, yeah. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm not- I won't have much to say until the next, uh, episode. This is some I am- I did just wake up. Literally. And hey, Eli Vance! Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up! To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stay I think you mean a crouch the jump. Of the pipe ...and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. And you just do it like this. You just jump, press crouch. Pretty simple. Make sure you don't get stuck in the pipes. Now you're probably asking yourselves, why am I not playing Black Mesa, the version that is the updated version of this game? Uh, well, mainly because I, I, I've never played the original Half-Life, well, uh, original Black Mesa. I played the original Half-Life, it's the one I mo know the most about, so I'm probably going to do Black Mesa's own playthrough. So I'm doing this is more of a point of reference. Climbing the ladder. If you want to come back... 
That was probably wondering why I'm not playing with a CRT filter, even though this game is pretty old and requires it. Well, Half Life is in well, apparently Half Life is incompatible, and I don't ha know how to. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Up two, three, four. I'm st I'm Great I'm still pretty good at this. Now there's one more style of jumping you Again, need to learn. This is probably my third playthrough of Half-Life. This is something that is we will not encounter much. You will have to duck and move forward Just grab and it. launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform. You want to do is press a press, uh, whole duck and jump while moving forward. Like basically, W, control, space. While your character is moving down, by the way. Now here is the the first person part. Oh, well, never mind, this is the elevators. Press E for the use key. I am contemplate Ah! I have broken both my legs. <sighs> that hurt. Ah! You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. <laughs> to restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Alright. So, this is a, med a first aid station. Hold E and you'll heal yourself. Ow. This is a, uh, well, something that'll be very important in the game. Like, we'll be using this thing a lot. Especially, uh, in this game, because I'm pretty probably playing on. I think hard mode, maybe. I kind of, I'm still trying to find it. Almost got stuck. Alright, walk under here. I like the look of the Black Base facility. It reminds me of, like, a lot of... Not a, I don't remind me of anything, really, but just... I like the look of it. So I think it's owned. Spin that bridge. Walk up to the control wheel oh, and boy. press the use key. Hold the use key to turn the br to turn the bridge. If you let go and press the other, all right, the turn bridge will start turning back. So, you know, average jumping. This looks dangerous. Uh, all right. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit. All right. Through a tight place. So. this gap on your own. Is push that box down into the pit. Pushing uh, easy. Just move forward against the box, and you can push it into position. So there are two ways of pushing in this game. There is the classic, just walk into it pushing, and then there's the other classic, hold E and forward, which basically is shoving. Like you want to do this. Zoop, zoop. Just the classic shove. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. It's a little janky. Move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, right. the These are uh, equipment crates, you can use a brick to move stuff, but push these together for you to make a platform. Physics space puzzles. Finally, if oh. nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Mm -hmm. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way this through the debris. This is the most iconic weapon in Half-Life. The crowbar! The iconic melee weapon that is used in everything and anything. Also, I'm pretty sure I have uh, uh, HD models off. Just to sh just checking real quick. Uh, yes, I do. Have it off. The crowbar basically swings a very fast grid Half-Life 1. And basically used to break through bo blocks and boxes and... Heads, uh, you name it, just just breaks everything in his path. Clunk, 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 clunk. Anyways, this event we can break through it. Hey, a bug. Oh yeah, by the way, there's bugs in this game. If you walk over them, you crush them. Because uh, 
Half-Life has, has very high quality, uh, things. For the next area. F for flashlights. Hello, Barney! How you doing? We'll, we'll, know, we'll talk more about you later. Or, or, I wonder if that's Calhoun. Anyways. All security guards are named Barney, by the way. That's a canonical fact. Alright. So, the flashlight really isn't needed in this area. But can be. Oh, frick. I tried. Alright. So, you really don't need the flashlight. Because you can just see, thanks to uh, this game's... Uh, lighting engine. Oops, stepped on another bug. Great. Remember your flashlight drain power. So yes, that is true. When you don't need it. That is true. That flashlight in the top right corner, eventually after having it on for too long, it will actually start draining in power, and will turn off automatically. Ooh, target range. Probably, my probably the best part of the of this game is the well actually no it's part of the storytelling it's the target range where you will receive training in firing a weapon reloading and firing mine 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 launcher please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station this is the assault rifle or smg or mp5k uh ba or basically it's a uh, rifle that shoots well a good amount, about 50 shots, a clip, and uh, has an underbarrel grenade launcher with the right click. Now, if you had HD models on, just give me a sec. Oop. They would change, it, you, you give it a sec, uh, I forgot to pause. It will change all the weapons and also characters to be a little more HD. For instance, you'll have what uh, a uh, M16 with an underbarrel grenade launcher, and the crowbar will will be a little different. I'm playing with the original models because they tend to fit the art style a bit more, and also are very much better. You're right back, and I'm back. All right. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. All right. R to reload. Uh. Don't worry. Uh. Left click to shoot. R. Right click to grenade. Rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time, I should probably change it. Now I can't. Launcher, use your alternate fire button. Oh, I do. Uh, I give me a sec. Oops. Uh, welcome back. I changed the FOV so I could have uh better. Well, yeah, better animations. Just shoot at the targets. Light them up. I missed. Uh, pipe. And for this one, it's bulletproof glass, so you have to use a grenade launcher. Ow, I hit myself. Bonk, 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 bonk. Head up the stairs. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Also, I think her full name is Gina Cross, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, swimming mechanics. Oh, Geronimo! Poosh. Now, with the with this gun, we cannot shoot underwater. Some guns can, some guns can't. But swim up to the hole for air. Blah. But yeah. After, after you go up into here, you can see your auction uh, when it's running out. When you start to run out, I'll do this for temporarily just to show it. Yeah, you'll see down there at the bottom, uh, the bottom left corner, you see the O2 meter. I don't want to suffocate, so let's get out of the water. Stepped on another bug by accident. You can also shoot the bug if you want. Also, they leave bullet casing the floor, which is a really cool detail. Uh, introduced, didn't think, in this game, actually. Uh, it's like one of the first games to actually have bullets hitting the floor when you shoot. The charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running, step up to any charger and press your use key. 
Your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. Alright. Alright, this is it. Again, like she, what she said, this is an HV, is HEV suit. Uh, hold E, and it'll charge your suit battery. Suit battery basically is what protects you from damage at 100%. Uh, for instance, some gunfire will do no damage, but the less uh, suit battery you have, the more damage does to your health. But if HP suit battery runs out, you won't die. Uh, while HP determines if you actually die or not. So, suit battery is pretty important, I'd say, for keeping yourself uh, defended. Kind of think of, like, armor from Doom. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see <clears throat> heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Alright, add a steam, when you walk through it, you'll take damage, and uh, make sure that you try to avoid it, or get past it as soon as possible, ow! Hey look, uranium, uh, or bi uh, literally nuclear waste. Let's get out of this room quick before you start growing another leg. All right. Why they have to make us wear these ridiculous ties? Uh, can can you let me through, Gina? Oh, there. Elevator button. Remember, no scientists. I'm joking, of course. Oh. Oh wow, my my. Whoa, mouse sensitivity. I I don't freaking hair point t turn. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach ah. a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Alright, so a lot of things about this room. One, there's a turret here. Turrets basically are things that you'll find out more later, but over here is Mr. Barry. Or Barney. Barney, when you when if you press E on him, will follow you. He will shoot enemies, he will guard you, he will open doors for you, he's pretty cool. Uh every security guard is Barney, and all of them owe be all of them owe you a beer. So, also you can shoot this. Never mind. I thought you could shoot this for uh to release gas, but no, never mind. You can get a soda from the uh from the soda machine in order to heal you at one HP. So you can just mash all, the, so you can just drain the uh, the sodas out of the uh, machine. Just drink them all. You can also break the soda machine. Have sodas pour out of it. Love the details about Half Life. Give me my soda. <laughs> Give me my soda. <laughs> oh, sorry, Barney. Oh, oh, frick! Ah, 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 ah! I, I messed up. I messed up. Ah! Okay, he's opening the door. Okay, when Varney gets close to a door, he opens it, and I think I'm pretty sure he's gonna still try to shoot me. So I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna have to kill Varney. Yeah, the turret's activated. It was an accident, I swear. It was an accident. I died in the tutorial. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be, uh, a game. This is gonna be a bit of an infamous one, isn't it? Also over here is a very, very low poly model of a couple names. There's E equals MC squared. Uh, I'm guessing a ton of tasks here. But I guess because I blew them up into Super HD, oh, it was really qu low quality. I'm guessing if you give me a sec, I will I will lower the uh, the image quality to see if it changes. Be right back. Keyword no. It does make the ground look better. And also you and you. But hey, beside the point. I'm probably gonna change it back to widescreen because that's what I usually like to play these games at. And yeah, well, eh, maybe maybe depending how I feel about the playthrough. Actually, let's change the FOV back, by the way. Default FOV 90. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit better for the de for the default FOV. Alright, let's just change back to 120. And change the uh, graphics back, so be right back. And I'm back. 
So, give it a sec, and it will, uh, boot up the thing, so, yeah. Screw the glass. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, Kleiner. Didn't mean to scare ya. But yeah, anyways, let's head through here and do our, I think, like, one of the last ones. Careful about the, uh, the, the railings, they do do damage, and a lot of damage at that, so. Let's, uh, start it. When you press E on it, you boot, you spit out that little thing in the, at the bottom. If you could press, if you press back, you'll go... There are three mo- well, four modes, basically. Five modes. Stop, reverse, slow, fast, and fastest. We want to go fastest. Congratulations. Because then we'll finish the Black Mesa Hazard course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective All right. system. That's good to know. Anyways. That's going to end uh, part one of Let's Play Half-Life. Next one, Let's Play Half-Life, we're going to start the main game. And I'll have more things to talk about. <laughs> See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.